guys, it is Danny and welcome to this video where I'll be giving you guys the latest on the tropics. So we have that disturbance in the North Atlantic. The chance has definitely risen for it. And we also have a disturbance in the EPAC to talk about briefly. But before I go into details... Okay, guys, and so back to this tropical disturbance in the North Atlantic, which is really the the main part of this video, guys. So as you were seeing, the chance has risen up to 80%. So it's almost definite that we are going to be having a subtropical storm developing most likely tomorrow on Friday. That low pressure area is going to fully develop um, sometime today, guys. And so once winds exceed 40 miles, well, 39 miles per hour, going on to 40 miles per hour, then we will have this system becoming a subtropical storm the first of the season and acquiring the name Anna and as I mentioned in yesterday's video if this system develops into a subtropical storm it is going to make this year the seventh consecutive year where we have a tropical or subtropical system developing before the official start of the hurricane season so this is going is likely to be kick-starting the season uh, come tomorrow guys and so the chance through the next 48 hours is at a 50% and so as you're seeing the system is expected to move northward then make a turn to the west and go to the south it's really going to be lingering a bit out there and so if you're in Bermuda you might be affected by the system maybe some heavy rainfall some gusty winds a bit of surge but fortunately these systems don't tend to be uh, very very strong um, when they develop fortunately guys and so looking at the ocean temperature map we see that things are not very 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 warm out there so ocean temperatures are going to be just supportive at the right temperature right there for us to have the system developing into a subtropical cyclone and in terms of our model intensity guidance for this system reaching tropical storm status we have all the available models agreeing that this is going to reach that status guys so it is likely that tomorrow we are going to have subtropical storm anna being one of the earliest named storms in the Atlantic has what's been there for the past six years and last year we had the formation of Arthur on May 16th and Bertha on the 25th I believe so this might make the World Meteorological Organization consider again to move the start date of the season from June 1st to May 15th. The National Hurricane Center has taken the initiative already to start issuing advisories on the 15th of May instead of starting when the hurricane season begins. So we'll see what happens in terms of the start date next year if they decide to have another discussion on it and uh, looking at the satellite imagery we're not seeing much rotation or organization at all but once we usually see that hook feature with these subtropical systems here so we're not really seeing that right now but of course as time goes by things tend to, to come on quite quickly with these subtropical systems guys and so now to the EPAC and so we have a disturbance out there given a low 20% chance of developing and actually this chance was higher uh, I believe it was at 30% and now it is downgraded to 20% and it's because it really has a very very limited time to develop um, conditions are going to become quite hostile very soon so there is the potential that this could not develop but if it manages to achieve tropical storm status it's going to acquire the name Blanca which is the next name to be used for the EPAC and remember that we had the formation of Andrade over a week ago and this was actually the earliest named storm in the EPAC so it broke that record guys but in terms of our brewing Anna again Bermuda you might be affected by the system with some inclement weather nothing very significant is anticipated because the system is not expected to be strong it's expected to be quite short-lived and it really has very very limited time because after this weekend conditions are going to be very hostile for it to develop further but we're seeing the potential for a subtropical storm tomorrow guys and so guys that is really it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course i will keep you guys updated on the latest as time goes by